what if there is someone who speaks so fast and you don't understand? It normally happens, you know, in Spain or in Latin America. If you begin talking in Spanish, these people would think that you speak Spanish so fluently, no? And that they will start talking to you in Spanish the normal way that they do, okay? And it's just normal. It's just very natural, no? Parang sa atin din, someone we meet on the road, puti, speaks Tagalog, magkatagalog na rin tayo, di ba? So ganun din ang nangyayari sa kanila. But what if you don't understand what he or she said? You can simply say, perdon, perdon. This one means sorry or excuse me, no? Perdon. You would simply say perdon. Some people, no, who who have already perhaps studied the Spanish on their own or somewhere else, may have learned that lo siento is also a way of saying sorry. But take note, guys, lo siento, this one here, no, is a very serious expression. Normally, you use this for someone that you like someone that you really hurt or someone that lost his or her loved one, someone that had had tragic experiences, then you may use lo siento. But if you just want to say sorry because you don't understand or sorry because um or or because you want him or her to repeat, then you can just say perdon. It's just saying excuse me. Or let's say for example in the bus, may natapakan ka yung paa, may na, may nadanggil, may nadunggol kayo ganyan ganyan. You can simply just say perdon, okay?